Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, now Takashi 69 has been sued, and that is by the 13-year-old girl that was depicted engaging in a sex act in videos that he posted online. She's suing him anonymously under the name Jane Doe, and she did bring claims against him and Tay Millie. They brought her to a party in Harlem, February 21st in 2015, and they gave her drugs and alcohol, took videos of her naked and performing sex acts, Mm -hmm. and then posted those videos on social media. She said she was only 13 when she was at the party. Is it just me or has that guy gone quiet? Like ever since his album came out, he yeah. didn't sell a lot of records. It, 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 it seems like he vanished. Is it just Well, he me? said he was trying to lose weight, but I also heard that um, a federal judge uh, said that he can't have armed security around him. Really? So said, said that might quiet you as well. We'll just say allegedly, but yeah. Mm. Right. So uh, other news, uh, she was only 13, like I said, and she was performing oral sex on Tay Millie, who was 21 at the time. And Takashi was thrusting his pelvis behind her and slapping her on the butt. And he was 18 at the time. Then there's another video of her sitting on his lap in her bra and underwear while they were pouring liquor on her and grabbing her breasts. And then a video of her lying naked on Takashi and uh, Tay Millie's laps while they rub her legs and vagina in a sexually explicit and demeaning manner. 13 years mm-hmm. old. He got charged for that, though, did he? He took a deal. He had to do four years of probation and 1,000 hours of community service. Mm. All mm-hmm. right. Uh, now let's talk about Amber Rose. She was on Red Table Talk, and uh, she was discussing a lot of different things. Now, we talked about this whole uh, spousal rape incident yesterday. We were talking about Jada Pinkett Smith's mother and how she says that uh, her Jada Pinkett's father actually had non-consensual sex with her. Well, here is what Amber Rose had to say about an incident that happened to her. I was in a relationship for two years. I had consensual sex plenty of times during that relationship. I didn't want to be with him anymore. I told him that I was leaving, and he didn't want to hear that. He ripped my clothes off. I felt I was taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And it was terrible. And then he went downstairs and ate breakfast. Like, he didn't do anything. And then I also remember being, you know, younger. You know, I would maybe take a guy too far. Right. And I'd be like, oh, let me just put the in a little bit. And I'd be like, no, I kind of don't want to. No, just a little bit. And then it's full on sex. And I'm just laying there like, I don't want to do this. Sad part is there will probably never be a safe space to have that conversation between men and women. You know, conversations about, like, the mixed signals, the misreading of body language, because men aren't mind readers. And unless you have that conversation, how will the next generation know what's right and what's not? I think to prevent the kind of trauma that Amber is talking about in the future, those conversations have to happen. Right. And she's saying, I don't want to do this. And then they're still, well, let me just do that and trying to convince you to do something. You should never feel like you have to persuade or coerce somebody into having sex with you if they're not. If you're saying this is not something I want to do. Now, Amber Rose is also talking about raising Sebastian and not keeping anything from him. Here's what she said. Amber, how are you teaching your boys? Because Sebastian, how old is Sebastian? He just turned seven. See, that was okay. okay. But he's way beyond his years. I bet. You know, and he knows everything. Got it. I'm not hiding nothing from my son. Right. My son knows what a period is. Right. My son is seven. And I don't feel like it's too soon. No, right. it's huge. Yeah, it I is. don't, because once he hits 13, and the girls in his classroom are getting their period. Right. And the boys are like, that's disgusting. Yeah. She's bleeding. Right. He's like, yeah. I knew that since I was six years old, dude. Like, get with the program. She's right. Mm-hmm. It's never too early to give those kids those information. If they're old enough to learn, then those are things that they can learn about. I wish I knew what a period was when I got mine. I had no idea what was going on. I did, because I oh. read what Judy Bloom book was that. Was it, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. That's right. Wow. I knew about periods mm-hmm. and stuff early, baby. So when you got your period, you knew immediately what it was. I must, <laughs> I must, I must increase my bus, okay? But, that, you know, the, the beauty about that is my mother would always encourage me to read things that didn't pertain to me. So that's what I would read. I would read Judy Bloom and Beverly Clearly, and you would read about stuff like that. So You know what, though? When in uh, Are You There, God? I still didn't know what a period was. I knew she couldn't wait to get it. I just didn't really understand no, what, it what, it meant, what it was. I think, I mean, they, they explained it in the book pretty much. But I'll tell you, my parents did not explain that to me. And when it happened, I didn't know what was happening. I was like, what's going on? And you grew up in Brooklyn. You probably thought you got shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. All right. Well, we got front page news coming. 